Hi there, Richard Matharu here and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about whether it's better to solely focus on one company or build multiple streams of income, which gives you the best chance of success and results in the home-based business industry. So maybe you're somebody that's kind of focused on one way or the other, hopefully you kind of get some food for thought in this video, or maybe you're somebody that's considering adding something to the mix and you want to know, you know, how do I do that? How do I put it together? What are other people doing to get success? You know, what kind of combinations should I be looking at? So let me first and foremost mention that you're going to be able to build a strong business doing one way or the other. Me personally, I favour one way quite significantly, and I'm going to explain that in a second, but if you're really focused on one way or the other, don't stretch yourself or stress yourself out, you know, stick to that way if that's what feels right for you, okay? It's, it's you that's building this, it's you that, that counts. Second point that I want to make is the combination of the companies you're putting together makes an absolute difference. I would only ever have one primary MLM, one traditional style network marketing company. Otherwise, they're going to be competing with each other. You're not really going to know, you know what company to mention to who. It's going to be difficult prospecting and you're putting challenges in the way as opposed to knocking down barriers and speeding up your success. However, if you can find different companies and systems that complement each other in the way that they solve different problems for the same group of people, being your prospects, that group of people, that for me is the smartest, fastest way to get success in any industries, and especially this one. Let me give you an example. See, when I, you know, if I just had one primary company, when I'm to prospecting, it would be a yes or a no. You know, that, that would be it. That is the only option I would have. Leave your company and join mine because I focus on existing network marketers or kind of nothing. Whereas what I get is different people with different problems. I get someone coming to me and say, you know, I love my company, but we don't really get up to date training like I would I would I'd hoped for. Well, I'm an affiliate for a company that provides training for any network marketer. So I can say, well, here, stay with your company. That's fine. But we can still work together. I can still help you. This is the best training I know of. I blog a lot. Blogging is how I build my business quite a lot. I get a lot of leads, a lot of sales through blogging. So I might get a prospect who says, well, look, I love my company. We get great training, but I want to blog. I'd really like to blog. I see the sense in that, but no one really in my company is blogging. You know, what do you do? What's your formula? How did, how did you build your blog? And I can say, well, this is what I used exactly. Follow this and we can work together if you need some help. Can you see how that would allow me to build and has allowed me to build very quickly? Can you see how it would do the same for you? You can be talking to the same person by asking a few questions about what their problems are. You're kind of like a plumber wouldn't turn up to a job with just a screwdriver because they can only fix a job that requires a screwdriver. For me, you want a toolbox with all different tools. That plumber turns up with many, many tools because then they know whatever the job plumbing related, they can fix. For me, it's the same as a network marketer. I look at my the problems of my prospects and you should look at the problems of your prospects and think of, right, what can I have on my tool belt that will fix those problems? So no matter what problem they have, I can help them because you're going to build a bigger business, you're going to build more income and you're going to help more people. That for me is the smartest way to go as opposed to saying, well, join my company or nothing. I don't know, however you feel, but that, that for me is smarter. Uh, what's on, yeah, safety is the next point I want to cover. For me, you never know what's going to happen in a company. You know, you don't know what's around the corner. You might change ownership. You might have something personal come in your life. Whatever happens, you might just suddenly no longer see yourself with that company. If that's where all your income is, all your eggs are in one basket, you're either going to have to swallow a really bitter pill or you're going to have to start from scratch and build up again, which is a hard, hard task for anybody to do. If you're spreading your income, well, not even spreading, if you're building your income up in different areas to cover your bills, then it doesn't matter if you lose one. Yes, it's still painful, but you've got everything else supporting you. You know, st structures can still stand with just one leg missing. They can't if it's only on one leg. Again, can you see the sense in that and how it would be more entrepreneurial and smarter to do that? Just my opinion. The final point I want to make is how big are your goals? If you just want to go through the company system and build a business, I'm, you can still build a big business you know, with one company. I just don't know anybody doing that in the modern game, if you like, in the industry. Nearly everybody who you look at, who you follow, whose results that you want, if you take a look at what they're doing, they're at least affiliates for other companies. They have other streams of income. And if you want to be an entrepreneur yourself, if you want your own brand in the future, if you want to be a leader on the leaderboards for different companies, you're going to need a list, 
You need to build a list of prospects. That's a whole different video. You're going to need to have multiple streams of income for me. And you're also going to be able to have to be able to do something to build your brand. And to do that, you need to have success in something outside of a single company. So you can edify yourself. And other people can edify you as an entrepreneur in your own right. Not just they've only got success because of this company. You need to be. Can you see how for a following and for people to buy your stuff, they need to see how what you do can work in different areas, different companies for different people. People. So, hope that's helped you. I kind of, you can see, I kind of sway to one way as opposed to the other. If you disagree, if you agree, leave some comments underneath here. But I, I hope that's kind of opened your eyes as the best way of putting a combination together, how it can complement as opposed to compete with each other, and how you can go and build a business really, really quickly and still help lots of people and have no conflict in your life or business. So, go and have a day that counts, and I'll see you on the next video.